Cornell is no longer a mere backyard game leisurely played amongst friends. This is a professional sport with its own league. Tournaments broadcasting on ESPN and CBS Sports and real money on the line. Teaming up with the ACL this season are actors Shamar Moore and David Lim. They've become such cornhole enthusiasts that they've transformed a portion of Shamar's backyard into a cornhole haven, dubbing it Airmail City. Together they're creating an unprecedented high stakes postseason pro invitational tournament for the top eight finishing male and female pro singles players. A $100,000 prize pool on the line, and it's all set to take place in Hollywood at Airmail City. Follow us on the road across the country to each of the four national tournaments followed by the World Championships as we watch the pros battle it out for the coveted top 16 slots, earning their golden ticket to Airmail City. Hollywood, here we come. Which eight men and eight women will make it to the top to participate in this exclusive celebrity event? This is the road to Airmail City. Welcome to the 2022 ACL World Championships in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Who's going to Airmail City? Who's gonna get bumped out? Who's gonna get bumped in? Who's gonna be a world champion? I can't wait to find out. Let's get in there. And there it is, the main court, the broadcast court, where all the hard work comes down to play right here at the Rock Hill Event Center. Look at this place. But before you can get down there, you gotta show off out here with the other thousand players out here fighting for a spot to get on the broadcast court. It all comes down to this weekend. I got my man Anthony Ione here. What's up, brother? Let's talk some stats. I think we can break it up into three categories, okay. right? We got the ladies who have performed well all year. Like you said, last event of the year. These ladies are pretty much locked. Cheyenne Renner, Sarah Cassidy, Akani Altice, Kaylee Hunter, and then also a player out of Colorado, Yeti Irwan. Five ladies that have pretty much locked up a good spot. Let's talk about those at the bottom of the list. We got three players right now that technically today they would go to Airmail City, but depending on their performance uh, here at the Worlds, they could just slide right on out of there and watch everybody else ship off to LA. You're gonna have Whitney Martinez also out of Colorado, mm -hmm. a Miranda Coy at that seven position, and then number eight, Megan Moppin. When we look at points, they're just a fraction above mm -hmm. the ladies below them, so anything could happen here at Worlds. We do have a couple ladies on the outside looking in. Cameron Belvin and Lori Duell. Coincidentally, they're tied right outside mm -hmm. of the bubble. If you look at the points, they are one position behind the next spot. Let's say they come out and finish one position level ahead of that eight spot. We're gonna see those ladies have a shot to move into that top eight. All right, let's move over to the men now. Airmail City top eight. We obviously have our top three locks run those down and then we'll get to our guys who are vulnerable on the bubble. Your number one players in the world, currently tied Alex Rawls and Mark Richards. They're definitely looking at a lock because we're looking down at that eight, nine position. Mm -hmm. They're really separated from the pack in points. Jamie Graham also, I mean, he's just behind those guys. I would put those three, those three at locks. Also because of how consistent they've been, I just don't see them having a really, really poor performance. Mm -hmm. But even if they do to their standards, they're still gonna be okay. Is there anybody in danger? Uh, what's going on there? Talk to us about that. Yeah, players that are vulnerable, and these guys are, when you look at points, they're really, really close. We're talking 10 points or less. Definitely we're talking about a Matt guy currently sitting at number four, Tanner Halbert. Uh, we've got a Matthew Creek killer, Tony Smith and Josh Holland. Those five players, very vulnerable. If they can have a run like they've had through, through the Nationals, they could keep yourself safe, but it really depends on how it plays out. Give us a couple more guys that are on the outside looking in. Yeah, we're talking about Noah Almanza and Dylan Turpin. So when we talk points, let's just talk finishes. If they can finish two spots ahead of the guys sitting at 7-8, we would see those two boys move up into the top eight. So that's how close it is. We're getting real technical. We're getting down to the wire. Who's going to do it? Let's go check it out. Singles is underway. Let's go check out some of this first round action. What's up, baby? What's up, my dog? Chilling out. What's up, fellas? All right, down here we got uh, Miss Cameron Belvin, obviously one of our players on that bubble, trying to jump in. Here's check her out here. It's some first round action. 21 year old Cameron Belvin grew up playing softball, but quit when she was 18 to focus on competitive cornhole. 
She gained her spot as an ACL pro for the 2021 season after making it to the co-ed doubles finals at the 2020 World Championships. Now in her second pro season, she focuses full-time on a cornhole career. Megan Maupin early on against Donald Cup. Down right now, 13-1. Donald must be throwing some bags. Let's go check out this game. Making a name for herself this season, especially in pro women's doubles alongside her partner, Kaylee Hunter, Megan now has two national pro titles on her resume from this season. Makes that airmail shot with her last bag. And that will do it, folks. Donald with the win. 31 round war there. I'm burning up. We've got more work to do, so let's take that off and get going. Next we have Cameron Belvin and Jacob Trzinski playing each other. Jacob tries to go up, Ooh. he misses. Cameron Push. cleaning up right there. What a shot. For the win. Wow. Jesus. Bang, she gets it. How you feeling? I'm feeling really good. I've been playing good all week, so I got something to push for this weekend, so. Cameron has two pro shootout titles from last season. One of them in doubles alongside her boyfriend and fellow ACL pro Noah Wooten. Dating for over a year and both already frequent visitors at Shamar's, Cameron's the only one of the two of them with a chance to qualify for the Pro Invitational by finishing as one of the top eight women at the end of Worlds. Cameron grew up in Virginia and has three siblings, though she now lives in the Atlanta, Georgia area where she hones her cornhole skills. When not practicing with her boyfriend Noah at the Contrabound Athletics Compound, they can be found enjoying a Braves game, traveling, and supporting one another at all their cornhole tournaments. All right, second round action here with Miss Miranda Coy sitting in that number seven spot right now. Tough matchup, gotta go against Noah Almanza. Let's check this game out. What's happening where you at right now? Uh, I hit a lot of shots, he just really didn't miss. So now I'm just looking to make a run in the loser's bracket and then God forbid I lose another game and I'm going to win my stack. Keep pushing. Let's go, Miss Miranda Coy. Miss Megan Moffin again after a tough first round loss to Donald Cup. She's at another tough matchup right now against Wendy Selmeyer. Though she's been playing cornhole since she was 12, she's another one of our female ACL pros who gave up softball. Right across the way over here, we have Mr. Matthew Preekiller, who's already lost, which is a surprise, going heads up in the loser bracket against Mr. Ballot over here. All right, we're down here with one of our bubble players, Mr. Dylan Turpin. Right now, he had an early loss, but he's rattling off some wins in this loser bracket. Tough game right now against Ty Lopez. And with Matthew Preekiller already out of the tournament, this leaves a spot possibly for Noah Monza to fight with Dylan Turpin to make possibly see who's going to Airmail City. Turpin out of the tournament. Now it's up to Noah Almanza to hopefully move into Matthew Creek Killer's spot. Road to Airmail City is getting rocky. Let's keep going. Winner of this game goes on to play in the semifinals. Cameron. Oh. See her getting frustrated with herself there. Up. Bang for the win. What a shot. Noah Almanza, our last remaining guy on the bubble who has a shot to jump in and steal a spot to Airmail City. So let's get over to this game and check it out. Jeff Reynolds been on an absolute tear right now. Uh -oh. oh, in the dirt for Almanza. He's going to give up three here. <laughs> Good bag for Almanza. If you want to see the prettiest bag in the building, go watch Noah Almanza throw. Complete change in this match. Down 6-0, now down up 12-8. That's a 12-2 run for Almanza. He's going to try and walk this or get this push all in one to win it. 
He's going to get it all now. That's going to do it. Noah Almanza, he will head to the King's Seat match to take on either Mark Richards or Devin Harbaugh. Cameron Belvin, our first game in the loser bracket, going heads up against Ian Cripp. How are you feeling right now about your run today? Um, I'm happy. It's what I wanted. I didn't want to be out so quick, but... You probably moved into the top eight and replaced Megan Moppin. She went one and two. So, if anything, no matter what, at least there's a stronger chance that you're in Airmail City. I hope so. Hell of a run today. Noah Almanza right now on a heater looking to take Creek Killer's spot of the top eight. But he's got a hell of a matchup right now against Mark Richards, our final chase champ. Kangaroo. Sit nine. Sit nine. Richards has got to get the push to get points. That's what Mark Richards done. That's why he's the number one player right there, Wally. Big airmail attempt for Almanza on bag four. Really needed that one to stay in this one. Noah down here just knows it's over. Bag is away. That's going to do it. Mark Richards. As the king seat. Walk us through it. How are you feeling right now? What's in your mind? What's going on? I'm feeling kind of down on myself after I just, I, th I didn't think he had a bag left and I gave up eight to lose. But I hope to uh, I'm practice and hopefully I can come back and double dip. Where are you from? I'm from Hamlin, Ohio. Hamlin, Ohio. Okay. Now, I didn't hear about you until you won the Bacardi Open, I think, in Cincinnati. Yes. And how long have you been playing cornhole? Uh, roughly about 10 years. Okay. So wait, how old are you, young dude? 20. Oh, you you were a little youngster hustling with these other kids. Yeah. All right, so when did you uh, notice shit was just a little bit different? You were winning a little bit more. How long in? Uh, about five, six years ago, I'd say. Okay, so 14 years old, you started hustling. Right now, you're super close to being hanging out over at Shamar's house, playing for 100000 Well, I've actually been to Shamar's before. Okay. But obviously not playing for 100000 Yeah. But it feels good. Bro, you better not put no product in. I don't need no competition, bro. <laughs> Another important matchup. Tony Smith sitting in fifth place. Could be bumped out, but right now, the way he's played, he ain't going nowhere. But he does have a tough matchup right now against Mr. Neistat. Wow, unlucky bag by Tony. Oh, what come was on, that? Tony! You got to be kidding me. What what did we just see? Oh nice. Yeah, Good finish by Neestead. Oh, this is gotta be in. And it oh, is not. Oh no, off to the left. Tony Smith is gonna advance to the king seat here. You're locked in for Airmail City. How's that feel? That was great. That I was mean you've goal. been battling this season. That was the goal. In Airmail City. I mean, I know you hang out there all the time already, but this is different. Is yeah, because I was one of the people like to help make it. Yeah. So I, I have to be there. Yeah. Gotta be there. You and seven teams heads up for a hundred thousand. Feels amazing. Feels great. What's up? You gonna get new bucket hat? What are you gonna do? Uh, uh, Let's say you win. Give me something you're gonna pick up real quick off Amazon or something. I'm probably gonna move out to Cali. Oh, you're gonna move out yeah, to LA. Congratulations, homie. But you still got a lot of work to do, so let's yeah. go. Stay focused. Oh, nice pickup. You can see Jamie's pumped about that one. Pushing it hard. Oh, what a bag. So here we go. Do you go in or do you go up for it? This could be it. Yep. Oh! Mark is in the king seat. He would have to be double dipped by Noah Almanza. Crafty shot there by Almanza to get around and go in for the wash. Going up. He is, and he hits, hits it. it. This is for the win for Mark Richards and book a ticket. He is the number one player in the world. 
you just won the final chase. You didn't waste no time. Now you've won your bracket here, another 400 points. How you feeling? I feel really good. Uh, my bracket was tough. I had to go through Noah Almanza, Devin Harbaugh, Yeti Irwin shot lights out. Uh, so it was an easy road, but I'm just happy I got it done. What are you gonna do now? I'm going to Airmail City. But this is Matt Guy, heads up with Tony Smith. Matt Guy got a double dip, Tony. Now, Matt Guy hasn't made a bracket, hasn't won a bracket since he won in Vegas when he won the whole championship. So is this gonna be Matt Guy's return to the big stage? Let's go watch. Oh, Ooh, opportunity it. now, can he get it? Boy, he threw right away quick, got rid of it, ends the game. Stay right here for the winner take all matchup. Guy's gonna put it in tough, just for good measure, but Matt there. Guy on to the broadcast again. He'll be into the semifinals for the Pro Singles World Championship. We got some action going on. He looks like Matt Guy just double dipped Tony Smith. Stop playing. That's, I see some big Matt Guy hugs going yep, on there yep, with yep, the That's how it's going down. Now we did have some bubble action like we spoke about earlier. Megan Moppin, she might have gotten punked out of Airmail City for Cameron Belvin. Yeah, Moppin gonna fall out. I think we're gonna see Belvin move in for sure, but can someone else squeeze in? Maybe we see a second movement. Over on the men's side, what happened today? Tell us about that. Matthew Freekiller struggling. Our singles hey, champ team. falling out of that. I mean, he's gonna fall out, but the question is who's gonna bump into that? Who did well? We had a Noah Almanza have a sick run. Noah Almanza moving into that A spot. Just a last little minute, little <laughs> real quick. Okay, you know what? You go ahead and I'm I know you want to. I know you want to find him. Bring him in. Stay over here, Matt Guy. Get over here, bro. All right, Matt Guy. You have now locked yourself in. You are locked in. What are you doing now? I'm going to Air Mail City. Let's Woo! go. All right, here we are. We got a couple of our Airmail City locks going heads up for the bracket final. Now, this is a double dip situation. Jamie Graham being in the king seat has to lose two games to Tanner Halbert. Tanner took game one. Now we got a tight matchup at 12 9. Jamie's up. Let's go check this game out. Oh, Tanner. That's trouble right there. This could be a four pointer easily. Oh, oh. bang! Great backside. It's not a real safe bet. Oh, no. Jamie has been throwing hot this entire second game. He's going up. Oh, no. Oh. See, here it is. On for the win, right? No, will be shanks. This could be ball game. Jamie didn't step out, though. He doesn't need to. I don't think to. he needs to to collect oh. that. Oh, he does not. Shot at ESPN. Jamie Graham, 21 to 12. Well, that's not gettable. Great game, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Great game. Jamie Graham wins his bracket in a shot at ESPN. By the way, we just want to get in real quick with a nice congratulations. You lost the first game. You didn't let that stop you. You hit some great pushes, especially that last one. How good that feel? Oh, dude, it felt amazing. I know I lost that first one, but zoned in on some big push shots, but I hit the game winning push for the win. So, you know what, Sean? What? I'm going to Airmail City, baby. Let's go. Our last, last match on a crazy, hectic day here at the Rock Hill Sports and Event Center. Well, bracket A finals, Alex Rawls, who's already lost one, coming back to the loser bracket, playing a young phenom, the 13-year-old Jackson Gore. Alex Rawls has to beat him two times in order to move on to his second broadcast in a row. But if anybody can do it, you know it's gonna be Alex Rawls. The man has never gotten worse than second place in his bracket. That's insanity. Alex getting right back. What is Jack gonna do here? He goes up and in! Still has to be in. Get in. And it's not! Did I not call those bags? Oh my goodness, and that's going to do it. Jack immediately ready to reset the bags and, and go again. Jack going up first, and he nails it. 
And another from Alex. Anything you can do, I can do too. And he tries to roll over the stack with that bag. It won't make it all the way. Oh, that's not good. Jack has to get something to go. And it's not going to do gonna it. That's going to do it. Congratulations. Wow. Well played by Alex to pinch all that up. Absolutely. Very smart play wow. from Alex Rawls. How are you feeling right now after that win? Feeling good, man. But, you know, I don't celebrate until the job's finished. Until I win on there, on that stage, it ain't yes, finished. Ain't right. nothing's done yet. Back-to-back -back broadcast. Again, you haven't ever placed anything less than uh, second, second in your bracket. bracket. But guess what? It don't mean shit, because guess what? What's going on? Got to win first. Got to win. Man baby. of the year. Let's, Let's go. go. Man of the year. Well, that's a wrap on day one of pro singles here at the World Championships. Now our final four are locked for the playoffs, and we've got two rookies and two vets heading to the ESPN broadcast. All right, I'm going to go fix Jamie Graham's Zuka bag and get my butt cheeks a pack of ice. did was she took a screenshot of the beginning of the episode that had the standings but what she didn't realize those were the standings before the final chase not yeah. after so though I think the whole time she's thinking to herself oh I got a two I'm, you know Whitney Martinez has got me by two points and then she outperforms Whitney and she's like oh I'm good I outperform Whitney I'm gonna be fine but Whitney was 16 points ahead of her all right I gotta go down here all right brother our lists are locked for Airmail City. We had a lot of a lot of movement happening. Walk us through what happened. Who's going to Airmail City? Who's staying home? Yeah, so on the women's side, we came into Worlds. We had some locks. Cheyenne Renner, Sarah Cassidy, Yeti Irwan, Connie Altice, and Kaylee Hunter. Solid locks coming in. All they had to do was not completely blow it. And that's what they did. They did enough. Where it got interesting, Megan Moppin goes 0-2. So that opens up an opportunity for other people to filter in. Cameron Belvin makes a run. And then down to the Coys, we have Miranda Coy and Courtney Coy. Miranda didn't have enough turnout. She won some, she lost some, but it was just enough to fall out. And Courtney Coy moving into that top eight. Her cousin took her spot. Stop playing. On the men's side, let's walk through that. Your top four guys are good. Let's... Alex Rawls, Mark Richards, Jamie Graham, Matt Guy. One, two, three, four, they're all in. Tony Smith made a run all the way to the king seat, ends up taking second, locking up his spot. Tanner Halbert had a run. A tough battle against Jamie Graham. He took second, locks up his spot. Where it gets interesting, Matthew Creek Killer never saw it coming. Nope. One and two? One, one and two. two. One My and guy two. goes one and two. His worst performance of the year, again, falls out, opens up a spot for someone. Who's going to take advantage of that? A Noah Almanza yep. runs all the way to the championship match in his bracket, takes second. That was enough for him to jump into that Creek Killer spot. He finishes tied with Josh Holland. Mr. Anthony Ayala, let's go watch these finals. Yeah. And we are underway for the Singles World Championship. This place is packed. This, just like in any other sport, there's always going to be a big moment, right? And the crowd is always just waiting. You never know where it's going to come from. And now it's Guy in front of the hole. Rawls, if he can go through, guarantees at least a point. Oh, but he can't. And now Matt Guy, even though he missed the airmail, if he gets his own bag in, he'll get one for the round. And he gets it, able to collect them both. Might have a chance for six. Yeah, that, that is actually better than in, because if he had just gone in, it would have made the push by Rawls that much easier. Wow. Yep. wow. Two for one, a huge oh, round yes. for Matt Guy. And now Matt Guy with the answer. Oh, he's stepping out. Is he getting a better angle? Is he trying to an and one? Is he trying to knock Matt Guy's bag off while he goes in? Oh, instead, Matt Guys goes in. Alex is off, and that's going to do it. Matt Guy down 12 to 3, comes all the way back to win it. What a comeback.
Jamie Graham, currently number three in the world out of Hamlet, North Carolina. Richards with another four bagger. We'll see if Jamie Graham, he, he might be setting up for an airmail drag here. He's going up. Hits it and drags it in. You may see two straight airmails here by Jamie Graham to see if he can drag this bag. Yep, you're right. There's the first one. And he brought it closer. Now it's officially in play. He's going to have to hit an airmail on his last bag again, but that was an amazing shot by Graham. This one to try and stay alive, and he can't do it. It spins out. What a marathon as Mark Richards will advance into the championship to take on that guy. Oh, nice Go. shot by Matt Guy, able to just grab that bag on the right side and collect it. Can Richards answer, or will he go straight up to center with a hard push? Oh, oh he does. That, he hits them both. Jeff, that's just not fair. Matt oh. Guy off the board entirely. And Mark Richards could lay it up for three points or try to go aggressive for an airmail to get five. Oh, sneaks it around and in. And Mark was really having a really nice regular season, right? And really took it over the top in Chicago just a month ago. And now a gap has been formed. Goal post for Richards to go in to guarantee at least four points. Well, I shouldn't say guarantee. Guy going to step out here. Got to be careful. Oh, no. And he misses big. That's going to be a seven-point round. We have never seen somebody play a season like this. Jamie Graham in 2020 was was the bar. Off and, the and, board. And it's on the board for a title. On the way and in! The dream season for Mark Richards continues here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. He is your ACL singles world champion. What a performance, what a season, what a player. MVP, rookie of the year, final chase champ, world champ. You're a champ of your family. I mean, and now we're going to Airmail City. Yes, it's not sir. even over. That's the icing on the cake right there, baby. Absolutely. I'm how, so excited. How good does that feel? I'm not sure I'm not sure that I'm aware of anybody's won back-to-back -back nationals, at least in the last few years. I, I don't think so. It feels really good, though. Uh, hard work paid off, I guess. <laughs> Let, let's see what you can do in Airmail City now. Yes, sir. Congratulations on just a hell of a week, man. Thank you so much. You got a lot more work. Keep going, baby. Yes, sir. Mark Richards, what a champ this guy is. <laughs> What a roller coaster ride, but we've made it. Our top eight men, our top eight women are solidified. We're going to Airmail City. A year long grind, it came down to just a couple of rounds for some folks, but now it's all over. Now it's time to figure out who's gonna win $100,000 hanging out in Shamar Moore's backyard. I can't wait to be there. I'll see you guys there, and I'm gonna get there safe because I'll be on America's tire, discount tire. Welcome back to Bracket Breakdown here on ACL Live. Trey Ryder, the commish, Stacey Moore, and the $20 chef, Sean Latham, talking all things pro-invitational. The top eight men and the top eight women will be paired up in a co-ed double single elimination bracket for $100,000 in total prize money. It's going to be an epic weekend. It's time to start drawing the teams for this pro invitational. Is, it, is that the men's cup or the women's cup? Uh, oh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Let's draw our first male name here. Top of the bracket. $100,000 on the line in Sean Latham's hands. First name, Josh Holland. Josh Holland and Connie Altice. Tanner Halbert and Whitney Martinez. Alex Rawls and Courtney Coy, Tony Smith and Kaylee Hunter, Mark Richards and Cheyenne Renner, Jamie Graham and Sarah Cassidy, Matt Guy and Yeti Irwan, Noah Almanza and Cameron Belvin. Welcome to Airmail City, baby, where legends are born. Let's go!
Don't worry, everybody, it's okay. We're just having a good time. <laughs> no one got hurt.